Hello, welcome to Manor Arms 360. Don't worry, we will still be using the old format. However, for those who like gadgets, I recommend to get this. The link to get it, you can find in description. If the quality does not satisfy, you can adjust it manually because the video is already set up for premium, premium quality. I like the best. Enjoy. At this point, I already started working on the blade for Genji's katana. I drew it out from a block of steel to about this length. As you can see, it's fairly thick right now, but this sets me up very well to go into the drawing out, creating the sonobi, and then the beveling. Using the iron kiss, I forged the pommel, while Ilya is using the nasel to begin drawing out the blade. I then use a hot cut underneath the power hammer dies and then move to the anvil and use another hot cut there to finish the cut. I'll now go in and true these up on the grinder. <laughs> Once the bar is up to temperature, Ilya goes back to the nasel to finish drawing it out. The powerful Nasel 2B allows him to do this fairly quickly. Once he has his desired amount of material drawn out, he then uses a hot cut tool to remove the excess material. My next step is to go ahead and cut this guard. So we kind of hand sketched a little something on a piece of metal here, and I'm going to take the hand torch and cut it out the old fashioned way by hand. So while Ellie is working on the blade, I'm going to start forming the guard the one that we hand plasma cut out earlier. I'm gonna use the horn of the anvil to determine the shape of my guard. It looks like Ilya is still laying in that back bevel on his blade. Once he's got that completely formed, he'll be able to move on to the front bevel. I'm gonna gently bend it around until I get my desired shape, remove some of the excess material, and then Ilya will refine the shape later. At this moment, I started on the front edge. That, that procedure requires the most concentration. Here we use a technique that we like to refer to as water blasting. This removes any scale from the surface of the blade. Not only do we do this during forge welding, but also in the final beveling so that there's no pits left when we go to final polish. Thank you for watching our 360 content. Make sure to check back for any other 360 videos we put up on the channel.